this is Sean from catsonglue.com and today we're going to show you how to take these two containers and make them into great litter boxes for your cats. They're a little bigger and a little taller than your average litter box. Uh, holds the litter in a lot better. Cats seem to enjoy it. Holds the smell in a lot better. So let's show you how we modified these. Just a few simple tools to complete this project. Now for the first two cuts all I'm going to do is cut through the top ridge uh, right through here on either side. I am using a metal blade so it's not a real, it's kind of a finer blade, it's not real coarse. And uh, so let's give this guy a cut. Now you can either use a power saw or you can use a, a hand saw. Uh, for this next cut we're just going to make a hand saw and again we're just going to cut through this first. So we're going to make a light score through this like we were scoring a piece of glass and then we're going to come back and cut it through once or twice more and it should make a really nice even cut without a lot of wobbles in it. Go over this one more time following in uh, and as you can see it's kind of opening up there. So just going nice and slow following my cut that I already scored. All right, so it's really easy to do. If you have cats or kittens, uh, this would be a good area to cut out. It's a little lower, you can cut down lower on here and it makes a nice uh, arch. Bigger cats will go in there as well, Keep good for cats and kittens. Now if you have a medium sized cat, you can cut out a, um, a little larger hole. I recommend cutting up six inches, which is a standard height, kind of keeps the cat litter in there. Um, that's what I use, six inches. Or if you're like me, um, have some really big cats. I cut out a big huge uh, area. I don't want to make sure there's no hesitation going into the cat box. So a couple areas on both of these that you can cut out. And we'll get started. We'll show you how we're going to cut that one. Okay, so for the next type of opening in the 32 gallon container, uh, we're going to make one you cutting out this indented area. Okay, and again, I'm just going to score real lightly where I've chalked. Now, I'm going to go a little bit on the outside of this one. I don't think it's quite big enough, so I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch on the outside. on our third type of door and this would be if you had a really large cat that uh, or was a cat that was leery about walking through the doors what we're going to do is we're going to cut this completely out and make a nice big opening now that we've made these two cuts since we've scored it on this side it's just like a piece of sheet rock you can kind of push the plastic over and it makes a nice cut and you just finish cutting all the way through Okay, so for in this cat box, we have the demonstration of the three different types of entrances that we can use. Uh, this one would be for a medium-sized cat. This one would be for a smaller-sized cat and kittens because we made it a little lower. And this one would be for big, huge cats. Now let's uh, put the lid on top of this one. And as you can see, it's still uh, stable. But uh, I'll sturdy it up and uh, there you go. One homemade cat box. Here's a few examples of the finished product. I hope your cats enjoy it as much as mine do. Uh, they really enjoy the king size bathroom. So this is Snow, and we'll see you on the next video.